Hey guys, welcome back to the Stuff of Legend. My name is Dilo and I've got another video for you guys. I'm going to be fan casting for you guys another Fox character. Well, it's kind of a Fox character, very complex. Um, the way that the character rights are broken up. Not gonna get too far into that, but he does fall into the category of Fox characters um, because he is Namor the Submariner. He is also a mutant. Um, he is Atlantean and he is a Fantastic Four character as well. Not originally, but he was adapted and reintroduced in Marvel as a Fantastic Four character. So I am going to be fan casting for you guys Namor the Submariner, Namor McKenzie. Um, he is a savage. He's highly underrated. Not everybody knows who he is. He is actually um, a precursor to Aquaman. Pe some people are confused about who came first. Namor came first, and Aquaman was the ripoff. But I love Aquaman nonetheless, so uh, you don't have to hate one and love the other. You can love them both if you should so choose. I'm really excited about this one. I'm really hoping that we get to see him either uh, in a Fantastic Four storytelling, either a TV show or a movie, or we might get Namor McKenzie, the Submariner, in maybe a Captain America 4, depending on if they allow Bucky to be the next Captain America. Maybe Steve Rogers survives Avengers 4. We don't know. Um, it's unlikely, but anything could happen. So he's still on the cards for maybe a Cap 4. More likely, uh, Black Panther 2. Um, there's a lot of things they could do here. So nevertheless, let's get into it. First up, Namor McKenzie, Imperious Rex, the Submariner, one of my favorites. I really enjoy this guy as a lesser known character, but I really love his power set. I love that he's super strong, super tough, super durable, super fast. He can talk to animals. Um, the guy is amazing. And he can fly with those <laughs> ridiculous um, ankle wings, but if they do them in Marvel, I want some ankle wings. I want you to do that for me. Namor first uh, originated in 1939, and then later, in 1941, Aquaman was created. You'll see in my castings that a lot of the actors I've chosen, they they look different, but that's because a lot of, um, a lot of Namor's appearances throughout the years have been vastly different. A lot of them have looked very Asian. Some of them have looked uh, kind of white. Um, if you look here, maybe a little bit of Spaniard, a little bit, sometimes a little native, sometimes a little Pacific Islander. Really hard to pin down what he actually looks like, but the, the key element here a lot of the times is this kind of V shape on the, uh, on the forehead uh, for the hairline, the eyebrows, um, kind of a downward uh, nose a little bit, and then a longer, longer jaw, longer face shape with strong cheekbones and pointy ears. So this is something that I am definitely gonna want for Namor along with black hair and a ripped body. That's something that's very important to me. So the first casting I have for you guys for Namor the Submariner is Zachary Quinto. I know this is a lot of people's picks. I picked him because uh, six foot one is a good stature, 41 years of age. The guy is pretty fit. And I remember when, I, when Star Trek came out back in 2009, I was really excited. But when I saw Zachary Quinto with the face shape that he has, looking very serious, very stern, um, he doesn't have particularly raised eyebrows, but that can be altered with makeup and prosthetics. Not an easy, not a difficult thing to uh, affect, but his hairline as well. And then the pointy ears for Spock really did it for me. That's when I said, that's Namor. You got your guy. That is definitely Namor. I wanted to show you guys right here a lot of what everybody else is seeing as well. Someone did a Photoshop of him in the black suit with the yellow and the trident, uh, which is super cool. He looks great here. Um, this one's kind of funny. <laughs> they just took a picture of him like in the shower or something and uh, and did Namor here. But you can kind of see the gist of what I'm saying. He has that face. He looks like Namor. This is not a good Photoshop at all, but it kind of conveys the idea that people are seeing. But uh, we've got Zachary Quinto. Um, it looks very close. I really like this one. Um, I'm I'm really impressed. See, look, a lot of people see Spock and they saw Namor. That's what I saw. That's what other people are seeing here as well. So I really like that. Um, again, Zachary Quinto, six foot one, 41 years of age, right in that pocket. And he doesn't really age much either. So you don't, it, you don't have to worry too much about the age of the actor playing him because Namor is like, he doesn't really age. He's almost not, he's not immortal, but he's close. Like he's really freaking tough. He heals. He's uh, almost invincible. Really, 
really cool character. Anyway, I'm going to keep rolling. Next up, Tyler Hoechlin. So this guy is currently playing uh, Superman, Clark Kent, on Supergirl, which is absolutely horrifying. Not because he's not a good Superman, but because the Superman on that show is definitely not Superman. He is weak. Um, he is frail. He is fragile. And they don't understand the character at all. Um, and he's literally there to just prop up Supergirl because she can't she can't hold her own in her own story, which sucks. So, and I have actually seen every episode of Supergirl. So don't don't tell me like you're not like a fan or anything. I really want to like Supergirl. It's just really difficult for me because it's not that great. Um, and I'm, I was really bummed because Tyler Hoechlin would be a good Superman, but he's being misused. The character is being misused and abused. It just sucks. So Tyler Hoechlin though would be perfect as in the role of Namor, six foot tall is pretty good stature it's not not super big but it's six foot it's good 31 years of age right right in that good uh age range where he looks young kind of forever young almost um, but he also can look a little bit older if you need him to let's take a look he looks so dang close to this role like he looks amazing his eyebrows already kind of have that like peak in the middle and then his nose um his jaw Everything just looks like Namor. This is him as Superman. It's kind of a bummer because I did actually like him uh, in the in the role in the suit of Superman, but Superman is just not. It's not a good thing. They're not treating him well, and he just shows up. He fights. He fights Kara when he's on Kryptonite, and then he like comes out of. He's like, "No, you beat me. I was at full strength. You're Earth's champion now." It's like, "No, you're not. <laughs> you're not better than Superman. You're not stronger than Superman. Superman is Superman. Just." Just stop, please. So anyway, Tyler Hoechlin would be sick as Namor. Ditch CW. They're not treating you right, Tyler. Come over to Marvel and be Namor. This is something I want to show. Look at this face. And then look at Tyler Hoechlin with the beard. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Look at that face. And then this beard. That face. And this beard. That's your guy. All right, next. We have... Next up, we have Aiden Turner. So this guy, 35 years of age, six foot tall, same height as uh, Tyler Hoechlin, oh, right between the age of Tyler Hoechlin and Zachary Quinto. He was one of the Hobbits. He was uh, Keeley in uh, the Hobbit series. He's also in Poldark. People are really loving him there. Um, he was in the Mortal Instruments, uh, City of Bones. This guy is really good, um, really talented actor, but he also looks pretty close. So he looks kind of like a little bit more of the white representation of of Namor. And I know Namor is kind of in this ambiguous, like, look, he could be white, he could be Spaniard, he could be Islander, he could be Asian. He looks very Asian just because of the way they draw the eyes. But I think that this is a good, a good pick. Aiden Turner, really good in this role. Not a lot more in the way of, like, images fan casting for him there's a lot of other picks here but i think he's got that look and he can play serious very well i would like to see aiden turner get a shot in this role next up max greenfield now this one hold your comments for one second he's i've only really seen him in new girl which this is this is something that i picked purely on looks alone 510 a little bit shorter than the other picks 38 years of age but he does look quite a bit like namor now the problem here is that he's constantly smiling in every picture that I find him in. Very difficult to find him not in some happy-go-lucky role, which begs the question, could he even play the role of Namor? Makes makes me curious. He almost made my bonus pick list, but he's he looks so much like the role, it's, it's hard for me to ignore this one. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. This is literally the least smiley picture I could find of this guy next to, say, this one here where he's about to speak. He's all constantly like smiling, so it's really hard for me to see outside of that, but the hair is already there. He's got these eyebrows that kind of like go back and up a little bit on his head that give the illusion of that kind of that kind of uh, angled eyebrow. You could easily add to that with, with makeup and prosthetics. He's very fit, very ripped, and he could obviously bulk up for the role. Um, very difficult to find. And he looks a lot like Zachary Quinto. That's one of the things that a lot of people notice right off the bat is that he looks very much like this other guy that is my top pick for uh, Namor. Um, this one, he's kind of giving like this smug kind of grin. Um, but you can you can kind of see where I'm coming from here. Looks a lot like 
Namor. Not a lot of images, not a lot of fan castings for Max Greenfield, but that was one that I saw that was a little bit out of the box and would definitely be a stretch for him as far as acting. Although he did just have a role, I think he was in The neighbor, the Neighborhood, Veronica Mars. I can't remember which one it was, but there was something he was just in where he played like a crime lord guy. I saw a trailer for it, but I, I forgot what it was. He did play a serious role. I just haven't seen him play it, so I can't speak to whether or not he would be good in a very serious role. But it's just fun, food for thought. Let me know what you guys think down below. Next up, Ian Anthony Dale. This guy is all over the fan castings for Namor. He is 5'11", 40 years old, Hawaii Five-0, Salvation, Murder in the First, The Hangover, The Event. Very prominent actor. He's done a lot in the realm of TV, but I wanted to point out some of the images. He looks a lot like Namor. A lot of people have been showing off how much he looks like the part. People want him in the role very badly. Obviously, this Namor is freaking jacked, like to the degree that he looks like the Terminator. He would have to bulk up a little bit for this role. He's not the most jacked in the world. He's very fit, but he's not huge. And I would want someone that is very jacked for this role. So I'm okay with him. I would want him to beef up a bit, just like some of these other guys I picked. Um, they're not the biggest in the world. Tyler Hoechlin's pretty big, but Zachary Quinto, Aiden Turner, Max Greenfield, um, Ian Anthony Dale, all these guys would have to bulk up a bit. But I think that he looks very close. His face is very much Namor. Um, and so that's pretty easy to see. Don't really have to sell him to you guys. If you guys think he's good for the role, let me know down below. If not, let me know as well. I wanna hear. So let me let me just go ahead and recap for you guys. Zachary Quinto, six foot one, 41 years of age. Tyler Hochlin, six foot, 31 years of age. So he's younger. I think he's the youngest on my list actually. And he's six foot. Aiden Turner is number three with six foot tall, 35 years of age. Max Greenfield, five foot 10, being I think the shortest on my list and 38 years of age. Ian Anthony Dale, 5'11", 40 years of age. So let's get into the bonus picks. Now we're in the bonus pick list. Um, Brian T is first up for the bonus picks. This is probably gonna be most people's first pick. He has the eyebrows and that's why people pick him. Although I will say, I don't think his face looks like Namor and he definitely doesn't have the hairline, which obviously again, it can, it can be altered, can be changed but I don't see it as much with Brian T outside of the eyebrows. And I think the cheeks do fit as well. He's got the cheekbones. It's very difficult to see this with the facial hair. So I'm gonna jump ahead, but Chicago Med, Fast and the Furious, uh, The Wolverine, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This guy uh, is no stranger to geek films. I think he would be good. Draft him in from the Wolverine, from the Fox films into the MCU with the, the closing of the Fox deal, Disney. I think that would be cool. So if he got the role, I would not be mad at all. Look at this. This is some good art right here. You see that? Boom. Have him be the, the villain of a Black Panther film. That would be absolutely epic. That would be so, so cool. This right here, another good art. Look at that. Some of these art drawings for Namor, looks ex it looks very much Asian. And especially when he has this goatee, it looks very, very Asian. I don't like Namor with facial hair. I would still want Brian to shave, but it's not that big a deal. This to me looks a lot more like Namor than the actual facial hair version. So like you take this image of Ryan T and then you get this Namor. That's what I would want. That's pretty much right in, in the avenue of where I'm going. Next up we have Jay Ryan. Jay Ryan is 37 years of age. He is six foot one. Um, I, I only really got to see this guy on Beauty and the Beast, but he's the reason that I, I, watched the entire series and kept watching. He's really good in this in this show. Um, it is very like CW drama type of show, but um, he's a really cool actor, really macho dude. And I really like the way that he plays this complex character um, of the beast. I am I was a fan. Uh, he made me a fan in that show. But he also, if I could show you guys some images, um, he does have that that kind of like the eye, he's got the eyebrows that kind of go back and up. He's got some really sharp features around the forehead and then the jaw, the jawline and the cheekbone line that create that kind of sharpened look on his face. Um, his hair, it it's not in a V, but his forehead goes up enough that you could bring a, like kind of a widow's peak down with, you know, like not a wig, but just some like some prosthetic or some hair. Um, you could add that in to make him look a lot more like Namor. And uh, he's got a, a thicker voice. He could play the bad guy very well. From Beauty and the Beast, he plays the main hero and the main like problem in the show. It's really cool. I really enjoyed it. 
um, a really fun take on a Disney classic, and I'm I was just I was really impressed all all together. I think that this guy would be really good. He's also got um, kind of like this is him as the Beast, so if you can see that. Um, but he also has uh, he's also ripped. This is not a good picture here, not at all. No, let me see if I can find this for you guys. Uh, J Ryan Fitness. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So Namor's got to be jacked, all right? So if you're going to have a guy play Namor, one of the strongest um, early characters in Marvel, you got to go ripped for the actor. So this is a good choice. Again, if you're thinking like Namor looks very Asian, he does in a lot of the art illustrations. However, in some of them, he doesn't look so white as he does look maybe like New Zealand or Hispanic or like he's got this hybrid kind of look. This looks very much like it in some of the newer stuff from Avengers 9, but also in this, which I think was Ultimate Namor. So the Ultimate version of Namor looks a lot more like Jay Ryan. I just wanted to throw that out there. Anyway, that was just a fun pick for my bonus. Um, and then I wanted to do an honorable mention because it's not gonna happen. It's never gonna happen, but it totally should have happened. This is kind of a reflective, if it could have happened type of casting. We all know Jason Momoa is Aquaman. So Aquaman was a rip off of Namor in the first place. And Jason Momoa was an odd pick for Aquaman because he's not blonde, but Jason Momoa crushed as Aquaman. And so as I, I freaking love Aquaman, the movie, but they basically flipped it. They flip flopped um, and picked someone that looked like Namor to play Aquaman. They totally rebranded and it actually worked really well. He's six foot four, which is huge and 39 years of age, which is not, not old, but it's also past the younger actor castings. So, um, but I wanted to point this out. Which one of these does Jason Momoa look more like to you? The left or the right? I'll give you a second. Oh, and by the way, look at this little image down here. That down there, the one that's flick flickering. Take a look. I want you to compare them. He looks like Namor. So I wanted to throw that out there and just say that Jason Momoa as Namor looks so good. He would have been, and his personality would have fit the role of Namor so well. It would have been absolutely spot on, very serious. Namor doesn't joke around. Namor is absolutely serious. He just doesn't even deviate. There's no sense of humor. His goal, his life is his mission. Um, he is just all around uh, no games. And so it would be really cool to have uh, someone like Jason Momoa play Namor since he looks spot on and acts those roles all the time. So bummer. <laughs> We're never going to get Jason Momoa as Namor, but that would have been really cool. Let me know if you guys think that that's a fun, fun thing to point out. Um, or if you guys see that as well, if you don't see that, you're crazy. Yeah, that's basically all I had for you. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back over to my other screen. I had a lot of fun looking at other names. And of course, there's plenty of other actors that I didn't mention in this list that would be totally legit in this role. Um, a, a few other mentions like Sam Witwer was one that a lot of, a lot of people online have fan casted, which I full on, I totally agree with, I think would be legit. There's so many others that are really really, really good. So many other good castings that I think would be just great, but they didn't make my list just because I have a time limit. I got, <laughs> I got to keep this somewhat short and I tend to ramble. So you guys, let me know what you guys think about these castings down below. Which of these did you like the best? Do you think all of these suck or was there one that you guys really liked? I tried to be a little bit outside the box and uh, you know, a couple of them were very mainstream, but I didn't do that on purpose. I do that because I actually like them and I really, I really do genuinely think they would do a good job playing Namor McKenzie, the Submariner. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up by clicking the thumbs up button down below. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notifications so that you can be alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you guys won't miss a thing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to check out the other fan castings I've done for the Fantastic Four and for the X-Men. You guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.
Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also, be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.